Uh, Joshua Farmer pulling up on us, um, defensive tackle from Florida State. Um, Y'all have been making the rounds today. Um, Of course, you are the defending champions in the ACC. But do you feel like to this point, Y'all have gotten that level of respect or that level of um, headlines. I feel like it's all been about how last year ended. I mean, yeah, we got the respect, but we ain't we didn't get to where we wanted to go. So uh, none of it matters. Nobody remember. Nobody's gonna remember us for real because we didn't win it. So uh, you no, know, everything happens for a reason. I got you on that. Um, today we're asking our poll of the week here out here in Palm Beach County is we're asking everybody who's gonna be the best college football team out of the state of Florida come this year's end. You, you started smiling already. You must think it must be, we what, Miami or? <laughs> Florida State. Man. Florida State. What, what is we, it? we the best, and uh, we've been the best over the past three or four years, and uh, I don't think things going to change this year. Uh, what is it about this unit, and specifically I want to say the, the guys that Mike Norville selected to come um, to ACC kickoff right now. Y'all have so much pride in being guys that he recruited out of high school, the high school guys that are coming in, um, and also you all experienced what was last year, which kind of had a little bit of a clout. Uh, I mean, as you can see, uh, he brought three guys from the trenches, uh, three guys he recruited out of high school, and that just says a lot about our team. Uh, we led by the trenches, and uh, I'm, I'm just happy to help lead this team, man. Uh, I think last year was the standard, and uh, we're not going backwards, so uh, we're going to try to do it again. Can you uh, describe to me what you have here, this this chain um, today? Is this a new, all new jewelry, or is it? Um, I had it for a little over a year, man. If you want to say that's new, that's new. That is yeah. fresh. It's new to me. Yeah. Dude, I've been rocking the same <laughs> gold <laughs> chain for three, four years, dog. But, yeah, uh, that's my parents' name. Man. My parents passed when I was young, so I decided to get their name on that. And uh, my mom, my dad, and I got the picture on the back. So it means oh, a lot man. to me. You know, I'll never get rid of it. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. That's a great uh, piece of jewelry on the neck here of Joshua Farmer, defensive tackle uh, for Florida State. Uh, what are you What are you working on most? I know last year you won uh, most improved on the defensive side for Florida State. What have you been working on this offseason to make sure you just, you know, elevate even more so off of that? Uh, just being in the best shape of my life, man, running to the ball every play. I believe if I would have done that this year, I probably wouldn't be sitting at this table right now. So just trying to change. What do you mean things. by that? You know, just just trying to run to the ball and be the best in shape. And, uh, I think that'll take my game to a whole new level and earn myself a top draft pick. You know? uh, you've seen guys do it from the trenches of Florida State before. What have they told you about what you're going to need to prove over this next season or so? Uh, that's basically what the guys told me. Uh, I was just missing being in the best shape of my life. And, and I think I'm in the best shape of my life. And, uh, you know, just, just going out there and playing hard as I can every down every play, you know. Uh, Joshua Farmer here, defensive tackle, Florida State, uh, taking his game to the next level here in 2024, which we can't wait to see. I also can't wait to see this uh, 12-team college football playoff format. I mean, yeah. what what do you kind of know about it that makes you excited for what can how you can end your last campaign here? I mean, if you lose a game or two, you still possibly can be in there. But, you know, the goal is to lose none. But I don't really care. Uh, I think we're going to win every game. Well, I know we're going to win every game. Uh, it don't change – the stand up for us because we're going to try to win every game and um, just be our best every play. So nothing's really changed for us, man. But the teams that ain't supposed to be in there, they might end up in there now. So it's going to be crazy. And y'all going to take care of them? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you, you obviously um, have had a little bit of time between camp and now. Have you got your hands on uh, College Football 25? Oh, yeah, definitely. Who, first, who's the uh, first team you played with? Florida State. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to check. I think I played for them. <laughs> <laughs> or, or who was the first team you lined up against then? Did you set up a play now? Or did you Oregon. Do Oregon. I, uh, I, put a, I put us against Oregon, a team from the West Coast, because I knew they had some receivers and everything. Uh, yeah. Uh, did you uh, did you traverse the road to glory mode? And if you did, what, what position did you go with? I went with an end, man. I'm a D tackle, but you know, on NCAA, the D tackles ain't gonna make all the plays. Yeah. So I, I went with an end. I think I'm gonna delete him and make a quarterback. <laughs> Wait, what style? I mean, you go, you go dual threat. You dual go threat, be, dual threat. That's what I'm Jordan saying. Travis, two oh, point up. Only way I to might, do it. I might even put him at 13. There you go. <laughs> only way to do it, man. Um, and, and you spoke of Jordan Travis. We obviously covered him in high school in Palm Beach exactly. County at Benjamin. The dude is is just such a special presence and also a great football player. What was he like as a leader? And also, I like to judge legacy by what you leave behind. What do you think he left y'all with for these next few years to come and what he built up? He left us, man. He's a great leader, man. He led by example. I can't, I don't think there's nobody in my locker room that'll say anything bad. Uh, He just showed us, like, he didn't just hang out with scholarship guys. Some of his best friends was walk-ons and regular students. So that showed a lot about him that it wasn't just about football. He cared as a person. And, uh, you know, he's just a great leader. He didn't, he wasn't really vocal unless he, 
you had to get on your butt, but everything else he led by example. Love that. Uh, Joshua Farmer here, defensive tackle, plugging up the gaps for Florida State um, here. One last one on the way out. I know what the overall goal is for the Knowles, but you've already talked about wanting to uh, put more film out there and, and get to the ball more. Are there any individual marks that you know you're going to set, know you're going to reach this year out there on the field? At least eight sacks, at least. Uh, you can mark my words. When I get it, y'all can drop this again. Yeah. And uh, attack me, and I repost it. But uh, <laughs> I know I'm going to get eight sacks, and I know I'm trying to win ACC Player of the Year, you know, and uh, lead my team to a national championship. I love That's all of that. Me. That'll be the three then. So we're going we're gonna to get that graphic together. We'll tag you in it. And when you okay. fulfill it, I can't wait to be there on the other end saying, he told me. Yeah, I told he you. He told me in Charlotte. An All-American. Yeah, yeah. All that. I'm going to get all that. And, and and so what what has it taken? I mean, you said you did a lot of sacrifice. You've gotten yourself in the best shape of your life. Um, you know, what has been the hardest thing to try to sacrifice to make sure you're getting to that level? Food. That's the, uh, my diet, man, the biggest thing. I'm a country boy, so I like to eat. So just uh, Favorite dish? What's your favorite dish on the way out? My favorite dish is I'm a seafood guy, so I like uh, a lot of shrimp and uh, fish. Fish my favorite food in the world. But uh, I like soul food too, like collard greens, pork mm, chop, mac and cheese. Come on, man! I have to, uh, I have to pull away from that mac and cheese and the and the greens and the pork chop. Come on, you, you talk about <laughs> it, you getting me hungry. I'm about to have some now. Know, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I really appreciate your time, uh, Joshua Farmer, DT, Florida State. Uh, we are gonna keep you to those goals, and we'll be watching you in the nose uh, this uh, this fall. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you and. Uh,